I'm Dr. Leanne Catton, the Medical Officer of Health for the Porcupine Health Unit. I'm doing a quick check-in today after our first week back at school, which we know has been extremely challenging and looks very different this year than any other. The best way to keep COVID-19 out of schools is for parents to do a complete screen of all school-aged children in your home every morning before school. Use the screening tool currently available on the government's website or as directed by your child's school. These screening tools ask about international travel, contact with a potentially positive COVID-19 case, and they ask about symptoms, which includes not only cough, shortness of breath or fever, but also other more atypical symptoms, such as a change in taste or smell, and even gastrointestinal symptoms like vomiting or diarrhea. Please again, refer to the tool for a complete list of symptoms in order to do your screen daily. If the tool tells you to seek testing, Please notify the school that your children will be staying home that day. Tell your healthcare provider or an assessment center to seek testing. Have your child stay home and self-isolate. If the tool tells you that your child does not have symptoms, it's a good opportunity to take the time to review proper hand washing and safe uh, application and removal of masks. There's videos on our COVID-19 and schools webpage to help uh, review the steps for both of these important measures moving forward. Remind your children that staying with their group or cohort is also very important and that if ever they felt unwell at school or on the bus, they should let a teacher or, their ad or another adult know right away. All students and staff who are unwell should not be entering a school or any other public premise for that matter. So why is home screening so important? One is that we know very many uh, COVID cases are very mild in nature. We often would not consider ourselves sick with maybe only one symptom. And so we need to continue to be extremely vigilant for any sign that there may be a COVID-19 infection occurring. We've also already seen how quickly COVID-19 can spread in a group. There have been colleges and universities across North America and schools as well, where outbreaks have occurred very rapidly. We've also seen this in social settings, and so staying home when you're unwell is extremely important. If symptomatic people aren't able to enter the school environment, then the chances of your child contracting COVID-19 and bringing it home are dramatically reduced. Likewise, if you keep your children home when they have any symptoms, the potential for them to be spreading COVID-19 to other children and school staff and have them bring it home to their family is also reduced. It is a responsibility that we all have every day in every setting to make sure that we stay home if we have any symptoms that may be due to COVID-19. We recognize that deciding on whether or not to send your children to school this year has been a very big and heavy decision. It's been very complicated and challenging. And we know that different families have made different decisions and it may be more challenging to weigh the options equally and we may even see different decisions for different children within a family. We will continue to work with all families, schools and community members for reducing the risk for COVID-19 in our school environments moving forward. For those community members without a direct connection to schools, we urge you to also check out the screening tool regularly. And if ever you have any symptoms, please do not go to work. Do not go to get groceries and do not go to a barbecue with family or friends. Stay home, get isolated, gal, call to get tested, and do not spread COVID-19. We all play a role. We have shown that we can do this and we need to continue to do the work that's required. Our work is not over. Stay well, stay kind. Thank you, merci, miigwech.